All right, let me keep trucking along on this sign. Okay, I'm telling you, I use so much white paint and I was trying to do it like where you just do it like that and smear it because I know that you guys like to do that because it's faster and I could not get a solid coat. So you just do it the way that you like it. So if you wanted to show some of the black and you do it that way and you like it, that's totally fine. If you want it to be more solid, you're probably gonna have to do some of this bouncing like this, which is what I ended up doing after like three coats of trying to put it on that way. So I ended up just doing this throughout um, to get a little bit more of a solid coverage. Okay, so that's just preference, whatever you like, all right? So now I'm done with that. Um, and I let that dry. So I'm gonna go with my, um, anything, you can use your fingernail, but I'm just gonna use my little tool. This is very fancy. It's literally a stick with a needle taped to it. So a needle works really good. You just wanna be really careful um, so that you don't scrape your sign. Um, you can't see. So you wanna just get barely under that edge of that vinyl to get that letter peeling. And then I'm gently, slowly, this is my favorite part, I love the reveal. So I'm slowly and gently gonna peel it off. I don't want any of that wood to splinter. So just slowly coming off. Ta -da! I got that off. So you get this little center line. It's smaller, so I didn't think I had to go too slow on that one. All right, and then let's start getting my, link, my name down here. Some of it's connected, which will make it a little bit easier. Um, but like I said, I'm just barely putting my needle under that or your fingernail. You'll want to make sure that you're really dry, um, to do this step. So you don't have any danger of like smearing any ink or anything like that, or any of the, um, white paint onto the black. Okay. So let me just truck along and get this off. And if you scrape any of it, or if it pulls up any of your wood, you can just use your wet um, black sponge. You should have that. Um, or you can use a needle or a small paintbrush or anything to just kind of touch that up. So don't be too discouraged, because I've definitely nicked my wood before. All right, and this tears sometimes, so you just kind of got to keep going and just grab what pieces you can to try to get these letters off. It's sticking all over my nails so I can't get it off. Don't forget the dots on your eyes. I like that it's I can actually see it, which is nice, because sometimes the vinyl just blends right in with the background and I can't see anything, but this is good. It has a lot of really good contrast. Okay. Let me get my little established date. Don't forget this one does have a um, period. Sometimes I don't do that between the date, just depending, but this one we did. So all of our hard work paid off with um, doing that layer of black on the stencil because we really didn't get any leakage into our black, okay? All right, I definitely scraped mine just a tiny bit, so I'm gonna take a little bit of white and just touch that up. Use my sponge because it's really close to the black. Okay, and like I said, sometimes I even go in here with my needle with a tiny bit of paint and touch that up, just depending on how perfect you want it to look. Okay, so I touched that up because I had just scraped it a tiny bit with my needle. All right, now for this sign, you can either leave it like it is, or you can also add a little bit of distressing. I like to distress the corners off, the edges. I like to see some of that black come through. Um, so I'm gonna go around kind of gently, because mine just dried, so it's still a little bit uh, sensitive. So I'm gonna go real gently all the way around the edges to reveal some of that black, okay? So I go around the corners to reveal a little bit on the corners. I'll show you that up close in just a second. And then I just go right on the edge. You can actually distress on the sign itself if you want to. Just be very careful. I don't want you to mess anything up. Um, and I don't recommend you do that um, for probably a couple of hours after you paint the white because um, you definitely could leave some scrape marks on there that you might not like in the end. So 
So you can kind of see not much, just a little bit of distressing on these corners. Okay. So wipe that off. Now I'm ready to put my frame on. So I'm gonna start with my long pieces now and I'm gonna do some with a hammer to show you and then some with the nail gun. Um, so I have my container of glue. So this little yellow one, this is your wood glue. So I'll start with this edge. I'm gonna dip my wood glue in here. Don't go too crazy because we just don't want it to drip. I'll say that and then I went too crazy. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wipe that off a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of put a couple spots of glue down this edge, okay? It doesn't matter really where you put it or how much you put on. You just don't want it to like squeeze out and go everywhere whenever I put this end on, okay? So then I'm gonna put my piece on and I kind of use my pointer fingers to feel the edges where it's supposed to line up. I get it where I like the edge on the front and then I'm gonna start hammering, okay? So again, I use my finger to kind of feel where it's lining up and then I'm gonna hold that real still. You could even have a second person help you to hold it. Now, as you're going in, make sure you're looking in case your nail comes through or anything. You don't want to notice that it's coming through like when you're already done. You wanna see that, you know, while you're going. So that way, if it messes up, you can pull it out and fix it, okay? But mine went in really good. I'm gonna show you this edge in just a second. Once I get this in, I'm just having to pay a lot of attention. Making sure I don't come through the front of that sign or do any damage. All right, so that looks really good. So you can see how this is flush with the front. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny bit overlap here. Looks really nice. Um, then I'm gonna go onto this side, my other long piece. I'm gonna pick which one I wanna be on the front of this. Line that up really good. On one, oh, I forgot my glue. Let me grab my sponge. So your glue really helps to hold this sign together. So try not to forget if you can. The, uh, the glue is actually stronger than the nail once it dries, okay? Now to save you having to listen to me hammer, I'm gonna nail this bad boy in here with my nail gun. And I can work my way down. I'm doing four because mine is a little bit bowed. And so that'll hold it down nice and straight. Okay, so now back to my hammering. So you can see now I've got this right here looking so good. All right, so I'll flip it around so you can see. And I'm gonna go and hammer again so you can kind of see again how I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the top. I'm also gonna put some glue on these end pieces since my Sign is gonna butt up to that, my frame. Okay, a little bit of glue, not too crazy. Get my piece, so I make sure that the side that has the nail closest to it, that's gonna be the front. So I line that up. I use my pointer fingers to really just feel and make sure that it's lined up with the front, okay? And I feel to kind of center it as best as possible on the two sides, okay? Now again, as I'm hammering, be careful and watch and make sure that it goes in really straight and so that it doesn't come out anywhere. So just keep an eye on that. Have somebody help you hold it if you need to. Let me show you. Okay, so I nailed that one in. Everything is flush here, flush here, okay? And then I'm just gonna make sure everything stayed lined up on that end, but I'm gonna work my way down. Let me do this center one. Keeping an eye on the front to make sure I don't come through. Awesome. Then I'm going to come over here. And get that. Ta da! Looking so good. All right, so let me flip. Let me make sure my phone didn't fall where you can't even see me now. Here I am just talking, talking, talking. Oh, who knows if you saw my head during that entire portion. I don't know. All right. We're going to hope. So now, because I cannot take this thing apart and redo that, so that's all we got. Sorry if you just got some headless instruction. All right, so put some glue back on here. Glue on these end pieces. 
Okay, my piece came out. My piece over here came out because it's a little bit bent. So I'm gonna quickly hammer that, I mean nail that back in before I put the frame on. Okay, so since that's holding on there, now I can, oh, that's the wrong one. This one, which side do I like? This side, I'm gonna quickly try to hammer, nail that together so it'll hold that piece in place. And there you go. You got it nice and finished and framed. Um, the only other thing that you could still do if you wanted to would be um, you could distress the frame some. So if you wanted to, you could go back and just like we did on the edges of the white, you could go back and do a little bit of distressing on your edges and your corners of your brown. Just kind of depending on what your style is. And if you want that, I just like to lightly go back and do that. Other than that, you're good to go. Happy Valentine's Day, and I hope you enjoy your family sign. Bye.